Hello and welcome to Ham Radio Comms. I'm Ed and one UHF. And what I have here is um, a TTY machine I bought about 25 years ago. Um, one of my best friends, fiance, was deaf, hard of hearing, and I was hanging out with them all the time. I ended up meeting a girl that I dated, and I couldn't, I couldn't talk to her if I wasn't with her. So I, I bought this top line uh, at the time TTY machine by Ultratech. Um, and uh, and today I was tuning around on uh, 20 meters. Uh, in the digital part of the band, and I heard RTTY, and it got me thinking if it if my old TTY machine would actually decode the current RTTY. I figure it was the same, and I was tuning around, and at first it wouldn't work without uh, a dial tone, and I went through the menu, and I figured out how to um, have it listen anyway. So, um, and that's what I did, and started decoding the message. I can't believe it. It's so much fun. Um, decoding with a portable device, not a computer, a little bit separately. So what I've done to make this work is that, you know, these old machines, if you're not familiar, it has a place here for an old telephone handset. You know, back then they didn't have cordless phones or, um, or just starting to have cordless phones, but they're regular uh, telephone handsets. Uh, almost like I have one. I can actually, I have one actually. I can actually bring it over. Okay, oops! I had this old, uh, you know, nineteen, nineteen thirties telephone. Uh, but I'll use it for demonstration purposes. So anyway, you would take your um, your phone, and you would put the cradle in like this. So I'll bring it up a little bit so you can see it. The light's not too good today. So it, it would work like that, and then. Um, the sound coming in through your earpiece would go into the microphone input on the TTY and vice versa over here. When you type, the sounds would go in through the, uh, the mouthpiece, which was the microphone, and go to the other end to their TTY machine. So since I'm not doing it that way, I'm using it from the radio. I took an external speaker from my ICOM 7200. As you can see here, it's, see here, it's a clear tone MFJ. These work great, by the way. For 15 bucks, you can't go wrong. So what I did was I put it on the input. of the machine there and then um, so this is just receiving but I, what I want to do is do two-way communications with this eventually so here so somehow I got to get the microphone uh, on to send through that way going old school with this TTY that way um, or I'll do it digitally connected directly through here but I, I think it's going to be something like this which works fine um, so this TTY machine back in the day uh, was meant to be portable. That's why there's a handle, you know, handles here. And it actually will take uh, rechargeable AA batteries is what it's meant for. Uh, NICADs at the time, but nickel metal hydrated will, will work fine. So uh, the next thing I'm going to try to do is actually have a QSO and send, now that I know it could decode, which I can't believe it's doing, so that's pretty cool. And, um, and But it takes batteries. It also had a printer at a time, so you could print out uh, a copy of the message so it'll do this for as well if, uh, if I can get paper for it. Uh, otherwise, I'll just have a nice QSO uh, portable, and I think that'll be pretty cool old school to use this machine instead of a computer for digital communications using RTTY. And the radio I'm using today for this is a new to me. I just got this like mint in the box, and uh, it's just been an absolute pleasure um, uh, using this radio. I really love the 7200, and it has an IT100 LDG auto tuner that I got with it. And then you can uh, see the screen, and here it is in the uh, digital part of the two-meter band. See, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit dark. As you can see, I'm at 1480-27. And at first, I used ZSB uh, uh, mode because it, was, it works with USB because it's a sound mode, and um, it was a little bit easier to tune in. But I put it on RT2Y, and it narrows the bandwidth a little bit, it makes it a little bit quieter. Uh, but it's all been working great. As you can see, it's uh, decoding great. Well, that's it for today on Ham Radio Comms. Hopefully, I'll make another one where I'm using a two-way, uh, having a two-way conversation. But until next time, uh, take care and get out there and do radio. Seven three.